name is Robin Duncan Jones. Um, I graduated from UWF May 2015. I did get my two-year degree um, right out of college for liberal arts and then I went into retail management and I quickly realized that's not where I want to be at. I took Dr. Keller's supply chain management class, one of my first classes um, at UWF and I instantly fell in love with it. Um, Dr. Keller's passion for supply chain is infectious. The education really does have a big influence on, on what I do day to day. Uh, there isn't anything that I haven't learned here that I don't use throughout the day, which is surprising because a lot of the times you hear people like say, oh, you know, it's not, it's not like how it is in real life. Real life is completely different. Well, not really with what they teach us here. Um, I use a lot of what I learned at UWF in my current job, a lot of it. And so data dumping is not really, wasn't really an option for, for what I do. I wanted to be more involved because I know that that's kind of the leg up on resumes is how involved you were in the university and what experiences you have. And I saw that the SCLA um, went to these businesses, went to these places that you could actually see a real life um, industry and speak to real life people and that are within the field. It, to me it was an experience that you don't get with any other just by reading in a book or, or just by looking on the internet. Always have a five year goal and that's something that stuck with me uh, ever, ever since I took the class is always have a five year goal. In the event that I am not at Avalex in five years um, as management because that's the current goal now, then I would like to stay within the aerospace industry and become a manager within the aerospace industry, um, either in purchasing or supply chain management. I take two. I like being able to work with a group of people. I like being able to um, make sure that a project is seeing through all the way through and like interacting and um, just making sure that things are done. And so that's kind of where the leadership role is driven and why I want to stay in management um, from here on out. At being president at UWF, there are some snags when it comes to members because, I mean, they're, they're paying to be in your program and in your club. And if they're not happy, then the, what are you going to do? You have, you have paid members that aren't happy. So one of the things that I like to do personally is just kind of talk with everyone and, and talk to the individuals and see, you know, really what, what the, the root of the issue is. Like, are, what are you not unhappy about? What would you like to see? And then try and incorporate that into, um, into something that where it works for everybody and everybody is, is happy. For example, we, um, we weren't doing as many um, like field trips to other vendors as we were in previous years. And so um, what we did was create more positions within the, the club um, for people and have one person to that was completely solely dedicated to setting up the trips and everything. And so that worked out to where we were able to have one dedicated person responsible for booking all the trips and doing all that stuff because that position previously wasn't there before. I think so. I think being able to delegate is a hard skill to, to come by. I think that I definitely learned that here in UWF and in that specific um, instance as well is um, being leadership driven. It's hard to, to not want to do everything yourself, but learning that and have a little bit of humility that you can get help and that you can delegate it out and not take all the stress on yourself is something I definitely learned here. Well, and that's absolutely true. I mean, especially when it comes to the place that I work with now, all my cohorts and people that I work with are extremely smart. They're very, very smart and they're very knowledgeable of what they do. And that's key to our success is, is having a good team and a good group of people who are smart. Um, and I mean, it's because people hired in that way. You're looking at one. <laughs>